Hello everybody, it's Elio Pace here. I hope this finds you all well. I'm here with a very, very exciting announcement about the final Billy Joel album show tour, which will take place in October this year, all around the UK. As you know, we have already done 10 of the 12 Billy Joel studio albums so far. You never know. 10 of his 12, and they are Piano Man, Street Life Serenade, Turnstiles, The Stranger, 52nd Street, Glass Houses, The Nylon Curtain, An Innocent Man, The Bridge, and Stormfront. And as you know, and as I've previously announced, that leaves two more fantastic albums. The first of which is this one, Cold Spring Harbor, Billy's very first solo album back in 1971. So many people rate this as Billy's best album. The songs on this are just fantastic. She's Got Away, You Can Make Me Free, Everybody Loves You Now, Why Judy Why, Falling of the Rain, Turn Around, You Look So Good to Me, Tomorrow Is Today, Nocturne, and Got to Begin Again. Wow. And then the final album will be River of Dreams from 1993, the last album that Billy has released in his career so far. No Man's Land, Great Wall of China, Blonde Over Blue, A Minor Variation, Shades of Grey, All About Soul, Lullaby, Good Night, My Angel, my own personal favourite song, not just favourite Billy Joel song, favourite song of all time. The River of Dreams, his last huge worldwide hit, 2000 Years and Famous Last Words. That's it. The River of Dreams and Cold Spring Harbour. And you know what? When we get to perform these two albums, we will become the first people ever to have performed all 12 of Billy Joel's albums live on stage in theatres around, well, anywhere, actually. <laughs> Can't believe it. So, 10 exclusive dates around the UK this coming October, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But before I do, something rather special. You see, this guy playing drums with Billy Joel in 1975... <laughs> Well, that guy is a gentleman called Reese Clark. And Reese Clark played drums on this album in 1971. He also went on to tour with Billy from 1971 up until 1975, which means that he toured the Piano Man album on which he had played Captain Jack and the Street Life Serenade album. And you see this guy playing guitar with Billy Joel in 1975. That guy is a gentleman called Don Evans. And that guy played guitar on this very first Billy Joel album, Cold Spring Harbor. Don also toured with Billy from 1973 until 1975 and performed on the Street Life Serenade album. Well, I am unbelievably thrilled to tell you that both of those gentlemen, Mr. Reese Clark and Mr. Don Evans, are coming over from America in October to play this album with me and my band. In the first half, these guys are going to recreate the magic they made with Billy on this album all those years ago, right at the beginning of Billy's career. I can't tell you how excited I am. In the second half, Reese and Don will take a break and my band and I will perform River of Dreams. It's going to be such a thrill to see Reese and Don again and to play with them again because I've already played with them 10 years ago at the Sigma reunion concert that took place 
in New York City. And I want to give a shout out here to my friend Larry Russell, who was the original bass player for Billy Joel and who organised that reunion, but unfortunately was not able to come over for this last tour in October. But I'm very happy to say that you can hear that wonderful reunion concert on a CD that was released last year called Long Long Time, The Sigma Reunion Live in New York City. You can get that from my website. Reese and Don coming over from America to perform Cold Spring Harbor. It doesn't get much better than that. The final Billy Joel album show tour starts at the Godine Theatre in Dundee. Then we go to the Howden Park Centre in Livingston. That's two Scottish dates. Annick Playhouse, Kendall Brewery Arts Centre, Manchester the Lowry, Taunton the Brew House, my hometown Eastleigh, where I fell in love with Billy's music back in the middle of the 1980s, London Leicester Square Theatre, Bury St Edmunds the Apex, and the tour finishes at the fantastic stables in Milton Keynes. And the tickets, ladies and gentlemen, go on sale this coming Friday the 24th of March at 10 a.m. from eliopace.com. Don't miss it. <laughs> it has been an absolute honor being the guy to bring you Billy Joel's genius. Jump in your cars, jump on a train, jump on a plane and come and see us. Thank you all so very much for all the incredible audiences you've been, for the support, for the comments. And I cannot wait to see you all for the big last hurrah in October, the final Billy Joel album show tour. I will see you there and I cannot wait. Bye for now. Yeah.